to a victory this afternoon for one of the most experienced men in the British Touring Car Championship. The most experienced man is John Cleland, but John, another frustrating afternoon for you, not really getting out of the pit lane, and it's made you, I think, a little bit more reflective about your future in the sport. Yes, I'd already decided before today that I would quit touring cars at the end of this year. Really? Uh, sadly, I, I think uh, this year has not been good for me, and uh, I've had 11 years in British touring cars, and I've won two championships and been on the podium, I think, more often than, than most people. It's a very difficult decision to make for me, but I think that uh, I normally could get on the podium, uh, and uh, this year is nowhere like it, and the last two and a half years have been something similar. So for me, I think the best thing to do is to say, I will go and look at something else. I'll maybe look at GT cars or some long distance racing, maybe Porsche Super Cup, something like that. But uh, I, I've had a great association with Vauxhall and the people at Vauxhall have been tremendous for me. But uh, I have to say, and this season has been uh, my worst for many years. And this afternoon's barbecue just uh, <laughs> confirmed for me that I don't want to do British touring cars again after the end of this year. Great association with the championship and the championship has been stronger for your involvement. Now you've kept this decision to yourself pretty well right until this minute. Why is that? Because you were slightly undecided? No, I, uh, oddly enough, I've read about it. I've, I've, I've heard people talk about it, but in the middle of the race at uh, Snetterton, in the second race, I was punted out by a privateer. I've been racing back with privateers all year through no fault of my own, and one of them decided to wipe me out when we were dicing for the last place or whatever. And I then thought, this is not enjoyable any longer. Um, I will work my... Uh, proverbial off till the end of the year for Vauxhall. I, I have a tremendous regard for the people at Vauxhall, therefore the only person I told of this decision was Ian Coomber, the, the boss of Vauxhall. So uh, he's employed me for many years to do what I think is a good job for him. Uh, I'm just sad that I, unfortunately I can't go out with a sort of championship or even what looks like a podium at the moment. One of those things I'm afraid. One thing about you, you've never doubted your own self-belief you always had a strong belief in your own abilities but has that belief wavered during the course of this season not at all i know the the car that seems to be the class act is the nissan i know i'm every bit as good if not better than Nilo and leslie i can at least match that uh, performance they have a car at the moment that's the the class of the field i have no doubts of my own ability that's why i'm only uh, quitting uh, british touring cars i would like to look at sports cars or something that will give me some enjoyment out of uh, my motorsport which is something I've had for many, many years. Um, this has not been so enjoyable. With this decision now public, you head to Knockhill, your home circuit, in a couple of weeks' time. That's going to be an emotional occasion. Yeah, this will be the last time I drive a touring car around uh, Thruxton, and I was actually looking forward to my uh, long race there this afternoon because I really do like this circuit. I, I enjoy Knockhill. I've had a long association with Knockhill also. And uh, it's, again, it's, it's sad to say that maybe the last time I race a touring car uh, around Knockhill for sure. You've had some great races, some great days in the championship. Let's just put one small scenario to you. You go out and win at Knockhill, you have a blinding end to the season. Does it then become a sort of Damon Hill kind of retirement? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, uh, I've made that decision. I, I've got two sons that are very keen on motorsport, and who knows, maybe one day I'll uh, be standing watching them doing something similar. But for me, uh, to finish on the podium this year sometime would be tremendous. Uh, I know the team, uh, certain members of the team have worked extremely hard to try and make that happen. Um, I would like to think that that would be the nice way to go, uh, but uh, I'm not so terribly sure. If I win that race at Knock Hill or even end up in a podium, it's not going to change my mind. I'm, I'm out of uh, British touring cars at the end of this year. But not out of motorsport? Not, definitely not out of motorsport. I want to go and enjoy myself and do some things that I've, I've probably wanted to do for years. That at least is good news. Uh, thanks for making that announcement today anyway, John. John Cleland, who's made the decision after all the frustrations of the season to quit the British Touring Car Championship.